Three times on the same flight. Yeah, but it was an inter. Why'd you just do that? I'm so sorry. It's called a stress fart. I'm so sorry. Why'd you do that? I'm so sorry. Please don't kick me out, Brad. I'm sorry. So it's been a minute since we talked about FouseyTube on the channel. The last time we talked about him, in case you guys haven't been keeping up or you guys forgot. The last news we heard from Fousey was the video of him getting arrested by the cops. Across social media, he's been completely gone. He disappeared. He's turned into a ghost. And the reason why is because he's at a mental hospital and he cannot leave until the police clear him. Which, in my opinion, I think it's a good thing that he's getting help. As much as I dislike FouseyTube and this clout run that he's been on and doing anything for views, I as much as I dislike this dude, I obviously don't want him to die. I want him to get better, that he gets the help he needs. FouseyTube is the definition of being possessed by the Cloud Demon. You do anything for Cloud, you say anything for Cloud. And yesterday we got this update from FouseyTube from the mental hospital. Hey guys, I'm really upset um, because I was hoping you guys would interact with me on Discord. I'm here with Bassam. But you guys are being really weird, so forget about it. Just want to say hi. I miss y'all. I'm currently under what's it called? This 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 thing the cops put me under. Now, in my opinion, I don't think it's a good idea for you, Fusi, to interact with Discord people. <laughs> it doesn't sound like the brightest idea, considering there's people out there who legitimately want you banned and who want you dead. If I was close to Fusi, I would straight up tell him, delete Discord, delete all of your social media for a week. You have some money, Fusi, you can take the hit and just get better and work on your mental health. People will be waiting for you. Once you come back, you'll come back to potentially 100,000 people and I will be one of them. He seriously needs to get off the internet. The hate comments bother him. The positive loving comments makes him want to do something crazy for them. It's like the best thing to do right now is cut everyone off. Only keep the real ones around you. The ones who are in your close circle. People who actually care about you. People who don't want to use you. Yo, hop on my stream and I'll hop on yours. No, people who actually care about if you die or live, dude. Like, it's cool to have access to social media when you're in the mental hospital, right? But I don't think interacting with Discord is the best idea. And FusiTube even says it. Dude, just stay off Twitter. Don't read anything. Don't watch anything. Just work on your yourself and come back better than ever and become a better person. We all know FouseyTube is driven by money and clout because he desperately wants the attention. When you get to the point where you're being locked in a mental hospital and you cannot leave and so the police clear you, that should be like, you know, <laughs> that should be telling you something like, you know what, I should probably get help. I forgot the name of the act. When you can't leave a mental hospital until you get clearance. It's not a nice act. <laughs> it's not a nice act. Um, can't leave the hospital until I get clearance from the police. So I've been here for four days now. They drug me up every day. Anytime I say something wrong, wallahi, they put a needle this big into my arm. But I love y'all. I made the .4 second shot. I got fouled out. That's all it is. I'll be back. Y'all know that. Season 2 on the way. We champions now. Let's get it. G7, baby. Well, I think I was wrong. I think they should keep him in there forever. <laughs> I don't think he's ready to come back out. And he's like, yeah, we're going to come back. Season 2, G7, motherfuckers. We're coming back. We're going to take over Twitch, YouTube, The Hub, every single platform you can think of. We're taking over. Because I'm fucking foosy, I need the attention. Give me attention, give me money, give me my $15 million contract. And regarding the contract that he was apparently gonna get, I don't think that's happening anymore. There's no reason for them to sign you to be exclusively on there if you're already banned from Twitch and no one really cares about your YouTube channel. Why would they pay you so much money when you yourself are giving them publicity for free? I think this is a definition of doing too much, but he fumbled the bag terribly. This guy legitimately got thrown $15 million and he didn't catch it. The fumble of the year i will be beating myself up if i lost 15 million dollars and that's the number fussy said kick never said anything about 15 million by the way and it's like why would kick want him on the platform what if he does something crazy what if he god forbid kills someone or he hurts himself in the worst way possible because the kick tos is way 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 more loose than youtube what if it brings negative attention and negative press to kick they're like yeah we have to shut down kick because the streamer fussy got into an accident or he killed someone and then they're suing and the whole platform goes down fussy is a pretty big liability to kick it doesn't make sense to sign someone that crazy that loose but that's just me this guy could bring the whole company down with one stream if he signed him exclusively and i really hope he comes out a better person a better man now if he gets out of the hospital and he keeps doing the same shit over and over again making out with drunk girls who've been sex trafficked flexing on people punching teens like if he goes back to doing that then at that point i'm like fuck this guy and i wish the worst for him and whatever happens to him i really don't care this is legitimately straight up his last shot at redemption this is like strike three you're out you're on the third one okay you're about to be kicked from the team fuzzy and like i always say there's so much crazy shit you can do before everyone's like 
Yeah, he's done that. Leafy says never let him out. <laughs> you know, I kind of agree with that. Let's just keep him in there for the next five years. Make this a social experiment. What happens when you lock up a YouTuber who's fucking crazy for five years? And that's the last update we have from Fusi. He hasn't tweeted anything. Like I said, the last tweet was August 22nd, the day of the incident. It's been about five, six days since he got arrested. He hasn't been active on social media. He hasn't been liking anything. So he clearly does not have a phone and was given permission to post and send that video to Drama Alert. And hopefully he learns from his mistakes and doesn't act like a complete dick and douche the second he's out but if he does i'm gonna be here ready to cover it so with that said what do you guys think of the situation make sure you like share subscribe g7 to the top subscribe so we can end the year with 40 billion subscribers please and uh, with that said thanks so much for watching have a great weekend and i'll see you next time all right peace